David Ahenikiu passed away yesterday in Saskatchewan among his friends and family. There was a man who spent his entire life working for his people to improve the education of young Indian people so they could take their rightful place in society. Here was a man who spent many years working for and being a servant of his country in the military around the world. He saw the world through his own eyes and saw things that he did not approve of and gradually came to realize that he should go back to Saskatchewan and work for his people. He built the educational system for Native people, he developed the Assembly of First Nations, and he was a man who showed that he could stand for what he believed and speak his mind freely and openly and honestly without fear. And many of his friends betrayed him and the Order of Canada was taken away from him. For what? For something said in two minutes in a heated argument when he did not anticipate it was going to be broadcast. And for this those people in Ottawa, the smiling hypocrites, would take away the Order of Canada from a man who did all that for his people over many years. And for two minutes of indiscreet conversation, that's the result. Well, it's a sad day for freedom of speech when that could happen. A man should never be measured by some small part of an otherwise distring distinguished and noble life of service. And that's what's happened in the media over the last two or three years. He, he defended his rights to his opinions and in the end he was acquitted but what do you win when you fight and you're acquitted and all your own people betray you and leave you and pretend they don't even know you some of the time. I know he was deeply hurt by that and I am disappointed too that the rest of the world does not understand the significance of the life of a man when he did all those things for his his people and made a very brief and indiscreet comment. Don't you much higher regard an individual who dares to speak their mind so that you can correct them if they're wrong and learn from them if they are right than someone who lies to you all the time and pretends to be what they're not? Well that was never David Ahenikiu. He was forthright, honest and brave all his life. He was an example to his people of the integrity and courage and dignity that are inherent in the native people of North America. And he was a role model to many young men and women from the uh, people who have come first to this land and he was someone who they should follow and emulate in being forthright, courageous and helping their people. I hope that uh, in his passing and after he is gone he will be remembered more for what he did than for the brief period of what he said.